Hope you can balance love and me. Said you saw me dreams, lullabies when you need. to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i sew down my wigs also i'm going to show you guys how i achieve these loose beachy curls which are so cute for the vacation mood for a summer mood and i also show you guys how i did this glueless look because it's sewed in down you don't really have to use glue on your hair so i'm going to show you guys the full detailed look and stuff for this hair this is your list of hair so let's get right into this video fan on so hopefully it's not bothering but I'm gonna be doing the sew-in method today so all you want to do is take you want to take out all these combs inside of the wig because I just feel like it does not feel good to have the combs in the wig especially when you're sewing the wig down so it can stay on your head so I'm gonna cut off all the combs just take your time you can use your scissors or you can use a razor blade and try to get out all the little all the little um thread pieces that's holding this in cut it out okay you're gonna cut all of these out of the wig all these little combs these two and the one in the middle so after you cut the three combs out you're gonna put your lace tint whichever lace tint that you choose i'm gonna use the spray one today you can use the two-sided one if you ch choose to do that and then you're gonna cut off your lace and then you're gonna start installing be sure that you're doing kind of like a glueless method with this before you sew it down. So be sure to tighten your wig band at a comfortable tighten. Tighten the wig band right here at a comfortable spot. Or you can also sew a wig band into the wig. I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm just going to show you guys how I sew it down. Okay, so now that I put the spray and the lace, I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to cut the lace off. Okay, so you want to get your needle and your thread. You can get any thread that you choose. I actually like using nylon thread, but I can't find it mine because I only have one and I don't know where I put it. So I'm just going to use the regular. I like using the nylon one because it doesn't hold water. So if you choose to wash your wigs, because I see some people be washing their wigs on their head. I don't do that, but if you choose to do that, I recommend using nylon thread just because these kind of threads take longer to dry unless you're like really blow drying it in. Okay. So, I'm doing the thread as long, this long. Okay, so you want to go in and touch up the lace. Just like cut it in certain spots so that it's going to lay really nice around your hairline. You want to be sure that it's nice around your hairline before you sew it down. Now all you have to do is just figure out where your last braid is and you want to part, okay, pull this forward, right? And you want to part wherever you fill your last braid because that's where you're going to be sewing, okay? It might be through some tracks, just part that. So I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to just sew it down. You want to fill for where you want to sew in a line. So you want to fill where it is, where your cornrow is, and then you're going to sew it down. And then just keep sewing going back in a line I hate this kind of thread because it's just the worst but and 
you're gonna do this on both sides this is just gonna help your wig to stay in place so no one can snatch your wig off of your head and of course your sideburn is gonna lift up right here but your wig for the most part is gonna stay in place okay and I just like sewing like just stopping right by my ear area like a little bit above my ear Okay, I'm about to put some quick curls with my curling wand, Ion Interchangeable Curling Wand. I just flattened down the top with some wax stick and my hot comb. Really easy. That's why I didn't show you guys. If you want to see how I do it, check out some other video. Like, I don't want all my videos to have the same exact thing over and over again. I'm going to trim the hair because it's looking like this. I'm going to spray this. So the hair dropped because obviously I just curled it and I curled it and then I came and did my makeup and all kind of stuff. So it's been like maybe about two hours now or a little bit under two hours. But I'm going to just take this medium sized teeth tooth comb and I'm going to take my time and comb the hair out, dragging my hand down so it can like flow together. This is going to give it a nice soft uniformed look do it on both sides and I don't really like using a small comb because the small comb kind of tends to make it like a poofier look which I don't like so this is how it's looking from the back it's not going nowhere because I sewed it remember we sewed it down so that's the benefits of sewing your wig down it's not gonna go anywhere or move but clearly you have to do your lace for your lace to stay down but Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure you guys visit Yolissa Hair. I will have all the links down below. And this is how I sew down my wig if I want to wear it for a longer period of time and I don't want it to move around and stuff, especially if you're doing glueless. You want to make sure that you sew it down. So I, I really enjoyed making this video. Let me know if this helped and do you think you will sew down your wig? And if you do sew down your wig, let me know how it works for you. And this is how the curls came out using the Ion Interchangeable Curling Wand. So I was giving it like a relaxed type of curl. 
but it's so freaking cute i like it so yeah thank you guys so much for checking me out and i will definitely see you in my next one okay let me turn around to the back so you guys can see it's kind of hot and make sure you check out my makeup video I am in love with this look. I will link everything that I use down below so you guys can have easy access to get it. I'm in love with this look because it's just so neutral and it can go with anything and you don't have to feel like you have to find an outfit to go with the eyes. The eyes, I didn't do anything to my eyes. So this is very simple to do. If you guys try out this makeup look or you just enjoyed watching this video, do leave a comment down below. Share it with your girlfriends or your guy friends that like to do makeup and let them give me a little bit of critique. Make sure you guys do that and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye! Hope you can balance love and me Said you saw me in your dreams Lullabies when you